this video I'm going to turn once again to the rock van my unboxing and first intro to the rock van I will put up there and I'm really excited about this upgrade that I got I got these from uh, ATs.com now if you look at the bottom of the rock van there's just a lot of space and what I've got is inner fenders they just came out with them I ordered them the second they were available on the AT's website they're also available on fair RC right now so you can go get them I'll put links to them in the description here so I'm gonna open it up and uh, there's even a little instruction packet in here have a look at the instructions and then get started so the fenders are made of Lexan they're very light so they're not gonna make your van any more top heavy than they already are comes with these nice little set of instructions also includes some mounting screws and it looks like they just um, screw on to the chassis rails so that shouldn't be too bad by the looks of the instructions you don't have to remove the body to install the fenders but just to make it easier and so uh, I can film it better I'm gonna remove the body all you have to do is remove two screws here and here whenever I take anything out of my ESC I take a picture ahead of time because I never remember which plug went where. Next, you remove three screws. There's one at the front, and then the two on the rear of the chassis rail. One thing to note is that the fenders are marked L and R, so you don't get them mixed up. Very nice screws that you take out of the rail are two different sizes there's a five millimeter a seven millimeter and another five millimeter once you've got the original screws back in the rails use these little four millimeter screws to attach the fenders at the belly of the rail if you don't have a set of little hemostats I really highly recommend it. They are uh, invaluable in placing these tiny little screws. One side on. Okay. Both fenders are on. One thing to note, the four millimeter inner screws that are, or bolts are, that are provided they tend to want to um, cross thread because the holes are maybe not exactly where they are in the chassis. And so I would suggest putting these in a little bit at a time. Don't tighten one down because it'll pull the other hole out and then you'll be more likely to cross thread the, the other uh, bolt. Okay, fenders are in, body's back on. Gives a much more scale, closed off look. Also supports the side panels some, maybe that'll help prevent them from cracking in the future. I'm also thinking about maybe battery relocation or ESC receiver relocation to get some of the weight a little bit further down. You guys let me know. Would putting them on the chassis sides be better than having it over the rear wheels and over the front wheels up high? If you have an opinion, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.